Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Railton. I'm going to give you a quick tour around the Business 239, the Business Application Seminar class. So when you log in, of course, you'll be at the announcements page. Uh, I'll have a welcome announcement posted by the time you guys get in there. Um, as with the rest of your online classes, the best place to start off is going to be course information. Two uh, crucial pieces of information in there, you'll see the syllabus. You can download and view that. Um, I won't read it to you now, uh, but of course then you can see all the due dates here in the course schedule. So there are three main components to this class. One is the virtual business simulator, uh, which I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, the second part is reading the book Good to Great and doing some chapter reflections on that. Uh, and then the final portion of the class is the portfolio. And then corresponding with each one of these items, you'll see the due date on the right hand side. So the pretest in the virtual business simulator is the first item uh, and it's due on the 24th. Uh, if we jump down a little bit, we can see so on September 18th um, in virtual business simulator, you do the strikes unions and collective bargaining lesson and you do the chapter three reflection. And then you can just kind of follow it all the way down. Uh, the portfolio stuff doesn't come due until early November, uh, but between now and then it will be a great time to start collecting all the documents uh, that are required for the portfolio. And I'll show you uh, what those are in just a minute. Um, this button is just a link right to the syllabus and course schedule, so you don't have to click through so many links. Um, of course, if you need to know how to contact me, you'll find that in faculty information. Um, my office hours are subject to change throughout the semester, so just make sure you check uh, to make sure that I'll actually be there. And it helps to give me a heads up because my uh, department chair duties kind of have me uh, roaming all around campus on some days. So um, if you can give me a heads up, that would be great. Otherwise, probably you'll just email me um, or you can also call my office. Okay, so jumping in, uh, the first item, like we said, is a virtual business uh, business simulator. And all I have in Blackboard right now is just some instructions on how to actually register. So you click on this link and it takes you, uh, actually I'm already logged in, so what I'm going to do is log out. And what you do is, um, you guys are probably new students, so you'll register now. Uh, you'll just give your email address and then you'll use this course key uh, so that the system knows which game you're actually joining. Um, there's no cost to this. The school paid for it through a grant, so um, you're good to go there. But just follow these instructions and it should be pretty easy to get in there. Um, good to Great Reflections. So you'll buy the book Good to Great. You can probably find it pretty cheap online or you can buy it through the bookstore too. And so all that's involved here is you read through the book there are nine chapters, and so for each chapter you do a one-page reflection on what you've read. Uh, and I say re reflection, um, I don't want this to be a chapter summary. I've already read the book, so you don't have to summarize it for me. Um, you're going to uh, basically think through what you've read, what do you agree with, what do you disagree with, um, do you think that's a good idea or a bad idea. And if you have questions about how to actually do that, then I put a little guide in here. Um, here's some questions to consider, and you can say, well, what stood out as interesting? Do you agree or disagree? Um, I like to hear experiences that you have in your personal life that correlate um, with what the author's talking about. Um, and then here's some guidelines as far as structure. So one page, double-spaced, um, standard fonts and margins, that's all that's it. Um, and then, of course, please be sure to proofread um, because a lot of errors kind of stack up and, and reduce your grade. So uh, that's two components right there. The last component is that portfolio. So here's a description of what the portfolio is. So it, it has multiple components. Resume, cover letter, probably the most important ones. Then you'll list out some references. Um, you'll get at least one letter of recommendation from somebody, some samples of work that you've done, schoolwork, if you did a research paper or a presentation or something that you're particularly proud of. Um, your college transcripts. And then you'll look back and see if you got any awards and stuff like that. You can read through all this stuff to find the details. But that's the essence of what a portfolio is. The idea is that you could take this to an employer uh, and give them a, a snapshot of who you are um, for possible employment opportunities. And then, of course, there's some links in here to hand in these items as they start to become due. And then at the bottom, there are some additional resources to look at and see what the components for that portfolio are.
uh, this is optional, but the stock game. Um, I just play this every semester with my students just to see, just to give us a little bit of experience trading in the market, uh, just to kind of play around. But again, here's instructions. This is also free. Um, so you just click on this link to go to Investopedia. You uh, use this information here to register for the game. And of course, this information could change from semester to semester, so be sure to check the item uh, in your course to make sure this is up to date. Um, and then you just join and start trading and uh, just as an incentive because I want everybody to get in there and have fun um, For everybody who plays the game you actually have to actively trade um, But I'll drop the lowest grade for everybody who who actually joins the game and actually participates by trading something So those are the major components the rest of the course. I'm sure you're familiar with you can go to my grades to check your grades of course um, We won't do a lot in the discussion board. I don't think but there is an open forum here where you can go and just discuss uh, if you have questions or just want to chat with your classmates. Of course, the email links here and then how-to videos and resources for students. But uh, you guys are pros by the time you get to this class, so I don't anticipate a whole lot of problems just navigating Blackboard. Uh, that's the course. We are going to have an orientation session uh, to kind of go through this in just a little bit more detail, but this is the quick six and a half minute summary. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you get a lot out of the class. I hope you learn a lot. As always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll do the best I can to help, uh, and I hope everybody has a great semester.